what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel today we are at a mall in georgia this is perimeter mall and we're going to buy a sneaker at every store in the mall it's really windy out here right now but i know that the sneaker market is insane and buying shoes is ridiculous and so you really can't even go to the mall and buy any of the recent releases so we're gonna see and test that and see what we can get today maybe we find some steals maybe find some stuff I feel like it's gonna be difficult, but I feel like this is what most people are wanting to go buy shoes. They're trying to go to the mall and buy some. So we're gonna give you the best options at the mall, even though it might be limited because everybody wants to buy sneakers nowadays. Let's go ahead, head into the mall. Then we have about 10 stores. Let's head to the directory, see what we got, and then we're gonna buy a shoe at every store this mall. All right, so we're coming up with a list of stores. We're just looking over. Now, some of the ones that we came up with is Champs, Finish Line, House of Hoops, Journeys, Kids Foot Locker, Vans, Skechers, Zoomies, Urban Outfitters, and Steve Madden. That's 10 so far. So I think that's all we have. We're just gonna look through a little bit more, see if we can find anything else, but I think that's it. Shoe number one, 4319. Pretty good deal, but it's also for my wife. So next door. All right, Nick, your turn. Go ahead. Right, I'm gonna try to find a skate shoe. Got it. Uh, I don't know if you can tell by the box, but it's a shoe I can't stay away from. Sneaker number three, let's go. All right, so three down. We got, I picked out two Skechers, Kids Foot Locker, Nick picked out one. We're gonna have Nick pick out a couple as well because why not, why me pick all of them? So Nick got one. I wanted him to pick the one out of the skate store, which is Zoomies, and uh, let's keep going. We're probably one third the way there. Some of the stores aren't even open yet. Like Foot Locker and Champs aren't open. I don't understand. It's 11.30 at this point. It's supposed to open 30 minutes ago, but hopefully they open up. Or 75 31 I think next door selection in there this was crazy we'll have to talk about it later it's an hour after they've the mall is open they're still closed I don't know what champs is up to All right, so we just finished up with the seventh store. Uh, Nick actually didn't pick any more yet because we were trying to get out of the security is like all up on us and the champs is closed. So what we're gonna do, we're going to a second mall now. And we're gonna go hit their Foot Locker finish line champs and try to keep going. We'll have Nick pick out some more there, but this mall, for whatever reason, the stores weren't open. Doesn't make sense, but let's head to the next mall. Two malls today. All right guys, so we just grabbed a quick bite to eat. We're at the mall right now. We got Hibachi Express, it's a place here in Georgia. We have seven shoes. We have like two or three more to get in there. Nick's gonna grab a couple, but uh, need to enjoy this lunch real quick before we wait in the parking lot. <laughs> Another Nike. Uh, they had a little bit of selection in there, but this one might be cool. I don't know. We're done. We finished it. Nine pairs. Let's get out of here. We're now headed back to show you all the pairs. Let's head back to the warehouse now. Oh, I shouldn't have said that, but you'll find out soon. Ooh. All right, I think that's a successful day. Nine pairs, got a couple from Nick, couple from me. Let's see what we got. All right guys, so we made it back. Let's go ahead, break down all the shoes that we got. We'll have Nick come in and get some now. Like I said before, it is, it's almost impossible to get good shoes at the mall now. I think, I honestly feel like I got one, one for sure really cool shoe that I like, two maybe, but like 
We have nine shoes. I just don't know. I don't know what Nick got, but let's let's start moving. Got some Nike boxes. This is finish line. This is my favorite right here. Vans. But a lot of these are gonna be affordable. The most expensive shoe was 180, which I don't really know. Think that's worth it. It's this shoe right here. All right, let's start with Vans. So I've been shopping for Vans for years. I've worn Vans like forever, and so I wanted to get something a little bit different of like a silhouette. Van still has the same like style box. Now it kind of flips open. And this one, what model is this? This is the, the Sid. I don't know if that's right, the Sid. This is a kind of like a low top van, but it's a little bit different. It's kind of like the, kind of a similar silhouette to the old school, but it's got this cool floral pattern that's kind of like faded. Like, so it kind of looks kind of vintage. You have like the outsole that's, they call it a marshmallow. Then you have like the tan tongue. I don't know, I think it looks pretty clean with it laced up as well, which obviously it's not laced up, but this pair was 70 bucks, which is on the high end for Vans. Vans are typically around like 50 to $70. So that's a solid pair right there. I don't mind this one. And uh, I actually really like this. This is a different, different silhouette. And uh, I know the flowers are a little bit different, but I thought it was cool. And Nick, what do you think about these? Uh, they're pretty cool. I know you go for the floral stuff kind of regularly, but those are sick. I didn't want to get like a super plain shoe. So that was the first one. So number two, um, Let's go for this one, Skechers. Skechers always comes with like the backpack type bag to go, which is, I guess, pretty cool. I don't wear Skechers. I'm not like a, I wouldn't come out and say I'm a fan of Skechers. It's just, there it was a shoe store. What I would say Skechers is good for is like they have comfortable like walking and running shoes and athletic wear type shoes. But other than that, there's not many shoes that I would go for there. Now these were 75 bucks. And uh, last time we had a really odd name of the shoe. It was like, both first seat Zubass. Zubass see from this one is the Seldra. Seldra. But it reminded me of like a Adidas Ultra Boost. So check this out. It's kind of got like an Ultra Boost type upper and the lower obviously is like a speckled white. Now this is kind of like a it's like an ultralight walking shoe, I'd feel like. So I'll put this on. You know it's good to go out, get a go for a walk. Let's see. I mean, they're kind of comfy. I feel like for what it is, the colorway is not bad at all. For, for being a Skechers, it really looks like an Ultra Boost. You kind of have like the cage up here. You have kind of like the fly knit material and then kind of the white. So I don't, this is like the one I didn't mind the most. And when I saw it, they're machine washable. Those are the first two. I'm not a big Skechers person, but these are like the best set I feel like I could do. All right, let's get Nick to come in here and do one of his shoes. I let him pick kind of like some of the good stores. So let's hope he got something good. I did what? I did Champs and I did Finish Line? Yeah, these two right here. No, Champs and Zoomies. All right, I'm gonna do my Champs first because like I actually really like the colorway of the shoe and I haven't ever had one so it is a presto all like right presto okay that's pretty clean a gray colorway so I thought it was just like nice and fresh you got the white it could be a really good shoe for the summer just slip it on throw it right on easy to wear what was the price on those uh they actually like weren't as cheap as I thought they were they were ended up out the door 140 bucks so like pretty expensive pretty expensive for kind of what I would consider a slip on shoe. But other than that, like I thought the colorway was cool, nice and gray and simple. I don't have my actual off-white Presto here, but it's obviously similar. I had a pair of this exact Presto in blue. The upper was blue and the lower was white when I was like, I I don't know if I can get the photo, but I was probably, I think I might have it eight years old or something. And I was, I had these, I was standing on my, or sitting on my skateboard and I was wearing Prestos that were blue and white. So I'm going to put that up on the screen if you can see it. So I did skate when I was a kid, you guys will see, but uh, that's a good pick. That's a Nick colorway as well. Simple yeah, gray. Simple. So we're going to wait for his next one. We'll kind of do a couple for me, get him from him. So, so this is the most expensive shoe out of the day and it's from Macy's bag, but it was finish line within Macy's. Uh, interesting box here. It's a little bit different. This is an ultra boost 5.0 which Ultra Boost, you guys know, used to be super popular. There was not much there, but I thought this was somewhat cool of a colorway. It's like a gradient with the black boost faded up to white. I think it's pretty cool. And I think if this would have came out in the height of Ultra Boost when like the cream ones were coming out, I think that this would have been a pretty solid after colorway, but you know, $180 it was. So after tax, like 190 something, that's really expensive. They're really comfortable of a shoe, but I don't know for that price. I don't know. It's a cool colorway. What do you guys think? Nick, do you like this one? I actually really like that shoe. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The black boost and everything. Everybody wanted black boost back in the day and now they're doing it. So that's a, a solid colorway. All right, so we did a uh, kid's foot locker, which I decided to get a shoe for my wife to see if she'll like them. That's a Puma, my wife's in Pumas. These are the Puma with the RSX, the Junior RSX, yep, in white. I think it's a pretty clean shoe, something for like walking, going outside, and it's white and it's a clean colorway. So. I mean, I thought that was pretty solid and I think she might like these. So maybe we'll put a clip in 
The outsole is kind of like a clear outsole. These were actually on sale for 39 bucks. I don't think you can go wrong. So hopefully she likes them. Let's cut to that now. Maybe we won't see a reaction, but uh, yeah, clean colorway, all white, 40 bucks. All right, Sophie, let's see if you like these. Let's see. Some Pumas, she's wearing Pumas. She's on feet. She's wearing Pumas right now with Nike socks. <laughs> Apparently that's bad, so. All right, let's see if you like these. Okay. If you don't, it's fine, but let's see what you think. Ooh. Get your facial reaction. <laughs> Please block your face. Oh yeah, I asked him. <laughs> I almost dropped the box. <laughs> I asked him if they were similar in any way to the ones I have on. He's like, no, they're not that color. I'm like, well, I was talking about shape. Love a white sneaker, guys. I thought like a nice little walking Summer shoe, maybe. Mm -hmm. For my wife, solid. What do you think, Nick? You like those? Yeah, they're they're decent. You wouldn't I could, wear them. I could, Nick I wouldn't, wouldn't wear them, them but Nick I could see wear Sophie wearing them. Um, all right, let's see, let's see. Bernie's didn't have much. Uh, like every store in there did not have many shoes. Honestly, there were no white Air Force Ones at any of the stores. There's one store that had Jordan 1 lows or mids, no highs. It's crazy. I don't know if they're just not giving them to stores or people are just buying them. I think everyone's just buying them. But we have a New Balance. This is a classic New Balance. I, this is something that I would have worn in like middle school, high school era. This is the New Balance 574. So it's a very simple colorway. I know Nick will remember these from high school and everything. They're a clean shoe and uh, yeah, this is just like a classic New Balance. Uh, those are definitely the, uh, I don't wanna talk trash, but the frat boy specials. So, so eh, I, this is kind of like a frat boy shoe, but it's also, I think like a classic shoe. A lot of like people just wore these, I would say 10 years ago-ish. So, I mean, it's just classic and I thought New Balance, a good solid one to put in there. And these one came out to $80, so after tax, 86.39, 88 bucks. So we have three left. Let's get Nick in here to do his, and then we have Foot Lock and Finish Line. Finish Line is gonna be my best. So let's see Nick's. I see a purple SB box. So I'm hoping he found a Nyjah Houston because Nyjahs are sick. I mean, you're kind of guessing it, right? But yeah, I did find it was the only pair that they had left of like any Nyjahs in the store. So it's a Nike S B box classic. You know, I can't stay away from the SBs. But this colorway is just, again, Ooh, nice gray and white, clean. simple colorway. So I don't know, I didn't even do this on purpose. I did not go for gray and white on both of my shoes on purpose, but it ended up that way. This one I will say is pretty fresh. I like the, the gold accents on the tongue, little gold there on the back. Other than that, I really wanna see what this feels like on a board, to be honest. I wanna slide these on, I know Nick wants to too. I wanna ride around on these real quick, see how they feel. So one thing with Nyjahs is my feet are a little wide and so they, they don't fit the best. Yeah, the left one is just tight on my feet. How do they look on a board? I mean, they're meant to be ridden on a skateboard. Try to do something real quick. Just make a loud noise. Let's see if I still got anything. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hurt myself. It's also really loud in here with that. Ugh, these feel so bad. Does it feel, how does it feel? It feels I flat, doesn't it? It might be because of the size. Okay, so normally I'll wear like an 11 or an 11 and a half in a regular SB, but when I get the smaller skate shoes, I get a 10 and a half because they're not as tight. This is way too tight in a 10 and a half. Yeah, that's the one thing that I found about the Nijas is they're like super tight for some reason around like, around the oh toe God. box. Like yeah, it's really gripping down on my toe. I would not want to skate on these. My feet would feel destroyed in like 30 minutes. I think that probably has to do, maybe Nyjah's shoe is kind of like that, but I don't know. So that's a solid pair. How much were these? 95 bucks. It's not bad. They're clean. I think they're like a perfect skate shoe. Already dirtied them up. Nike free. Nick will probably end up taking these and skating them. I mean, 95 bucks, what was it, 95? Yep. 95 bucks for a pair of shoes to just beat up on a skateboard is not bad at all. I mean, it kind of is. You think back in the day, I feel like our skate shoes were like 60 bucks. Well, imagine paying for these and, and, and riding on a skateboard. Yeah, a lot of people were mad about that. Nick was riding a skateboard in them. Guys, it's a Nike SB, Nike skateboard. They're supposed to be skateboarded. That's why he wanted to beat up hair. I don't know, that's just my logic, but let's go two left. Nike Air Max 90, last, this was the one off the showroom floor, last one there. The only shoes I found that was decent at Foot Locker, there's like no Jordans, nothing. Pull these out, we have an Air Max 90, kind of like a red, white, and blue colorway. Kind of, it's a Braves colorway, since you guys know Atlanta Braves, the baseball team here in Georgia. It's kind of like a Braves colorway, size 10 and a half, and it's kind of like a, uh, a denim type material. Pretty interesting, pretty cool. These came out to 130. Outsole has a little bit of like a blue clearish there. It's kind of, yeah, it's a cool colorway. I don't know, it's a little different. It's the only thing that I found really good at that store. I swear, I remember when you could find mids at stores. There's like not even mids there. This is the, the last one, a hundred bucks from Finish Line. This is at the second mall we went to. This was the only thing that I thought was decent. And I actually like this too. So this is a Jordan 1 Low, but it's the black patent leather colorway, but it also has carbon fiber for the swoosh. 
So I've seen the mid or the, the high version of, I think it's the mid version of this. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a women's sneaker. I could be wrong on that, but it's got like leather on the toe, patent leather here, carbon fiber here, and then like the, the wings logo on the back. I mean, for something that's sitting at the mall, this is pretty dope for a hundred bucks. I don't know, what do you think, Nick? This is my best one, what do you think? Yeah, I actually think that's pretty fresh. Like, to wear carbon fiber might be a little hard, but that colorway is not bad. Yeah, because it's very, like, subtle carbon fiber. So if you're into cars or something, this could be, like, a flex for you, but I don't know, they're pretty cool. It's 100 bucks. I don't know if these are, like, reselling, I doubt it, but let's go ahead, pull all the pairs up, and then see, let's each pick a favorite out of the group. All right, so we got all the shoes. If I had to pick my favorite, I'm going with the ones I just had, the Jordan 1 Lowe's. Let's get Nick behind there and let him pick his uh, his favorite. I mean, if I'm gonna pick my favorite, I don't have to walk back there, but it's definitely gonna be the Nija. Like, I've been trying to feel these out. He just put them on feet, so as soon as we're done, I'm gonna see what they feel like. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have him put them on, and we'll cut back to a clip of him riding around and see if he likes them. Ugh, these feel so bad. If you guys have any other sort of mall challenges or things you wanna see us do at the mall as far as buying or anything, let us know in the comments down below. We enjoyed doing this before we went to Foot Locker, gave him a thousand bucks to make a mystery box. I feel like that would be even more difficult now with the, the current status of the shoe world, so we'll see. But if you guys like the mall thing, I think it's good to do that sometimes because I feel like it's hard to get sneakers nowadays. And this is kind of showing that like, out of all the 10 stores that we went to, there's like one solid, like let's say semi hype shoe. There's like nothing hype at the mall anymore because everybody wants to hype. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.